Hey, Brian Johnson here, updating you on the build of our custom home. Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Kaboom! Now we just broke ground over the holiday weekend on July 1st, which was Friday, and it feels fantastic. We've done a lot of stuff. Wow, we made the decision to uh, to buy and to build a home, and we went out and we uh, saw dozens of lots and really made sure it was the best lot that made sense for what we wanted to do. And how we got here is, is kind of a neat story I want to tell you quickly. Now before I do, I just want to mention this video isn't about bragging or showing off. It's about celebrating life. I'm really grateful that we're doing this. It's a dream come true. And I want to bookmark this time and space. And I know, you know my wife and family would love to see the video. If you're interested, follow along. How did we get here? You know, we moved to Colorado in 2010, and my wife had a great opportunity with the company she works with. And of course, you know, I do quite well with my own business, so I can uh, really work anywhere where I can plug into the internet. And when we first moved here in 2010, we, we found a great house with a great view, and we loved the house, but it wasn't quite right as far as where we wanted to spend, you know, a lot of time while we're here in the springs. We started thinking about moving. And in 2011, we actually went out and saw some parade homes and got to know the area a bit more. And we actually saw a, a, a ridiculously priced home in Cedar Heights, which, which is where we're building. And as we traveled up and saw it, I was just awestruck by the views and the natural beauty and the privacy and just the feeling of being in the mountains yet minutes from uh, downtown Colorado Springs. Now last year my father visited in the fall and we went up into the mountains and as we were coming back home for the day I was telling my dad about this amazing neighborhood and he said let's go try to check it out. So we turned in not even thinking that it was a gated community but lo and behold our builder had another open house. I bought tickets, we went in and what was, what was really interesting is that this home was out, very much outside of our, our budget but not that far outside and it kind of got our wheels turning and as we stepped into this home and saw the views it was just it's funny our builder said you were kind of goofy you walked up to the wood windows and you just stood there for five minutes and it's true how could you not appreciate the beauty of Pikes Peak at 14,000 feet with uh, sweeping views of the city and that's how the process really got underway because here was a home that you know was in reach and uh, in exactly the kind of setting that I had dreamed of. And we started to think about making it happen and we set up appointments. And it's been a long journey. We had uh, dozens and dozens of showings when we put our house on the market and we did sell and that we're very grateful for that. Um, and we've been planning and planning with our builder and lately we've been cutting back because boy, when you build a house like this, the budget can go haywire pretty quick, uh, quickly. And that's where we're at. And what's really interesting is when we first saw this area, we drove right past our lot when we went to view this, this dream home in 2011. Now at the time, the lots were much more money. Um, some of them went bankrupt and we were able to get an amazing uh, deal on our lot. And for that, we're blessed. And uh, we broke ground. So hip hip hooray, uh, that's where we're at. I'll keep you posted. Um, pretty exciting, huh? Anyway, cheers, peace, be good and uh, Rock on. Yeah, baby. Build that home, baby. Come on now. Dig that hole, come on. Yeah, dig that hole. We're building a house. Break that ground. Break it up. Come on, break that ground. Break it up. Dig that hole. House goes right there. Yeah, do it. Dig it. Dig that hole.